Everyone's calling AI a bubble, but what if we're watching the biggest infrastructure build out in history and we're mistaking it for hype? I'm Sarah Gibson, a college professor and an AI strategist, and I help people put AI into action. Invita just reported quarterly revenue of roughly 30 to 35 billion, up around 90% year over year. Yet their stock still dropped because investors are spooked. Why? Because big tech is pouring hundreds of billions into AI infrastructure and nobody knows when or if it will pay off. Analysts estimate that they'll spend between 350 to 450 billion annually on GPUs, data centers, networking, and power. That's why many call this a bubble. Meanwhile, OpenAI is burning through cash, losing an estimated $5 billion, while generating roughly $3.7 billion in revenue. Microsoft isn't far behind. Their quarterly capex has surged to $14 to $18 billion, and executives say the majority of it is tied to AI data centers. The math simply doesn't look like a traditional software economics. But here's what bubble critics are missing. AI isn't software. It's infrastructure. Every chat GTP response consumes GPU compute and energy. It's more like operating a factory than distributing an app. This isn't Facebook scaling to billions of users on the same servers. This is building power plants, data centers, cooling systems, and fiber networks to support a global system of real-time cognition. And history tells us that every major technological era began with what looks like a bubble. The investment finances the infrastructure, the market resets, and the infrastructure becomes the foundation for the next era. The dot-com crash left us with fiber optic cables that powered the internet economy for the next 20 years. The real question isn't whether we're overbuilding, it's whether the applications will actually emerge to use what we are building. We're not watching a bubble, we're watching a multi-trillion dollar bet on whether AI becomes the cognitive infrastructure of the 21st century, the electricity of intelligence. The risk isn't that AI is overhyped, the risk is that we're building massive capacity before we know what the applications will be. That's not a bubble. That's what infrastructure buildouts always look like right before they change everything. If you wanna understand what's really happening in AI beyond hype cycles, subscribe. I break down the infrastructure bets that will define the next decade.